Namaste. Hi. What happens inside during the Bastika Pranayama? This powerful method of collecting the energy out of the breath and at the same time sealing the life force within us during the practice can serve us in many ways and levels for health and wellness, meditation, energy channeling, uh, healing, or during your sadhana or confinement. In the practice of Bastrika, we filter the breath so we could detach and separate the life force of the prana you know, from the gaseous air. So the life force is within the air that we allow to enter our body, the oxygen. Within it is the life force. Yeah? And then when we inspire this life force, you know, we do a light retention, a short uh, back at the top of the breath to allow the bandhas to collect and then to draw the energy out of the gaseous air. We separate it, and the bandhas are so efficient doing that, retaining and sealing the energy inside. That's why they're called energy locks. They lock and seal in the energy and to remain inside the inner system. And we flush and release the old air out of our system using that dynamic exhalation. That's the reason why we have to exhale dynamically to prevent the air from blending again with the prana. So inhale, collect the prana, seal it inside, and release the old air out. Yeah, and then we do that for a duration of time, many repetitions depending on the program. And after the round, close the body with the Rashaka Kumbhaka, extra retention. And while we close the body, we keep the body um, silent and close inside, this force which is so brimming in our system will flood the nadis. The many thousand nadis we have in our system, energizing the inner brain, stimulating the whole of our system. We could meditate upon this present, holding our body still, and this will drain out. It could lead to high absorption. Whatever is left inside our body after the meditation is for our health, is for our own wellness. You know, we could transfer the healing force you know, we produce to heal others, to help others through our hands. Our hands are so healing. Yes, Basrika is beautiful if we follow the preparatory stages leading to its full technique. For example, it's not for you. There are alternatives. And one good alternative is the Nadi Shodana with retention, alternate nostril breathing. When you do your Kumbhaka or retention, it doesn't mean holding the breath, stopping it for a long period of time. Retention there means yeah, retaining the prana which is within the breath. So when you do your retention, just hold it, suspend it as light as you can sustain. When the pressure gets heavy, it means yeah, you have fully absorbed the prana. Yeah, your body has done its share of collecting the prana within the breath. And over a period of time, when the inner body becomes open, more uh, free of stagnation, because um, side by side with this um, breath regulation, you do your internal cleansing as well. You know, uh, your kriyas, the asana, all of this will lead to inner body becoming more open. And then you will become more efficient absorbing more energy out of the breath. Thus, the uh, kumbhaka becomes longer. That's the reason why you can hold it longer because the inner body is more open. But it's not about retaining it and holding it for uh, uh, long periods of time. What is the reason you know, why we retain it? You know, we retain it as long as the body can absorb the prana within the breath. And then when the breath and the pressure becomes heavy, it means um, you are ready to release it. Just release the whole there out and repeat the process. Yeah, so the Nadi Shodana is a good alternative. But the Basrika is so powerful because you do it successively non-stop. Whereas in the Nadi Shodana, you inhale and then retain it. Now, whereas in the Basrika, you do it successively. That's why it's so powerful and intense. But you know, both methods will result to the same energetic absorption. Although in the Nadi Shodana, you have to do the practice longer. Yes, both the Bastriga and the Nadi Shodana are so helpful for our own health and wellness, for our joy and peace, and to help others too. See you next time. Namaste.